to the last question, which is a lot of fun. We have five minutes on the clock, but I have a feeling we're going to go over this. And <laughs> Max Barr back there is already, he already knows he's going to have to wrap this up. <laughs> so with that said, let's make some predictions. Oh, Who is the NBA champ at the end of the year? Who is the MVP, the rookie of the year, most approved player, sixth man of the year? I did not write all of mine down, so let's hope that I can remember. <laughs> so, Nate, we get this party started with you. The NBA champ is... The Golden State Warriors. Is, is there any argument from no, you? No, you have an argument. I really wanted to choose someone else, but you can't. It's the Warriors. I've got the Warriors as well, unless they boycott the NBA and aren't playing this year. <laughs> yeah. They're the champs. So unless, let's unless, let's just move on. Okay. We don't even need to talk yeah. about the Warriors. Your MVP, Nate. LeBron James. And mm. I'm, I'm a huge LeBron James fan. And in the last couple of years, he hasn't put as much importance on the regular season. Mm -hmm. And who knows? Maybe he won't this year. But I think he's going to place a little more importance on it this year. I think he has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder with Kyrie Irving wanting to jet town. And he's also, not only did he leave town, he's playing for the rival team in the Eastern Conference. I think he's going to want to show something this year. It's probably going to be his last year in Cleveland. I think that will add a little bit of motivation. So I'm going to go that LeBron James wins the MVP this Nate, year. Nate, I'm going to steal a little bit of your thunder here, too. I went with the same answer for a lot of the same reasons that you just explained. Yeah. And I think that he's going to have career numbers and rebounds and assists like he did last year. I think the scoring might even get wrapped up a little bit more. He's going to want to take over games. I think there's a lot of fire under that. And if you are one of those that believe that this is his last year in Cleveland, yeah. he's going to go out of Cleveland with a bang. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to give them everything he's got. Fifth MVP coming right up. But Jared disagrees. What's up? I think LeBron is going to sit out games during the regular season. I don't think LeBron cares about the Boston Celtics. I don't think he cares about Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. LeBron okay. cares about the Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. And I think that after the way the Cavaliers lost last season, I think the only thing he cares about is making sure that he is 100% when he gets to the finals against the Warriors, if the Cavs do get to the finals. So I do think that he's going to have a great season. I think he'll be probably finished in the top three at MVP. I considered Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, but I think they're going to siphon votes off against mm -hmm. each other. Agreed. So I'm going with Kawhi Leonard. I think that he is the best two-way player in the league. Everyone always counts out the Spurs. They're doing it again this year. They I mean, count him out as well. Yeah, they yeah. do. And, and, and there are concerns about his quad injury, but I think he's going to be healthy and back in time for the start of the regular season. And I just think he's going to have a great season. I think the Spurs are probably going to win 55, 60 games again, and I think that he'll win. But I think it'll be a very close, That injury close just vote. reminds me of, like, the what-ifs in that Golden right. State series. That's yeah. all I think about yeah. with that injury. I mean, that game one, we all forget that with between the Spurs and yeah. the Warriors. Yeah. The Spurs yeah. were blowing the yeah. Warriors out in he Golden State. He caused so many problems for that. And so, I mean – Kawhi Leonard is a good choice. I'm going yep. to stick with LeBron, though. No, I, I That's agree, a good too. Choice too. I'm going LeBron. <laughs> uh, Kawhi actually was my runner-up in this thing. Yeah. Kevin Durant seems like a, a smart pick as well. But like you said, Stephen Curry and him. And together. I'm just going to throw Carl Anthony Towns' name in there <laughs> since we talked about that beforehand. I think Minnesota, I said I think they're going to be the fifth best team in the West. And last year, he averaged like 25 and 12. If he can do that on a team that wins 50 to 55 mm -hmm. games, I think he could really be in the run. My, my wild card in there was the Greek freak. <laughs> oh, okay. you beat me. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're going to throw KAT in yeah, there, I'm going to yeah. throw Giannis because yep, yep. he's going to have a great season. Oh. Even in the Eastern Conference? I don't think the Bucks are going to win enough games, yeah. so I don't yeah, think that's he will. The, that's the problem. Yeah. fifth or sixth. But, but numbers, man, numbers could play player. into yes. this thing too, yeah. though, as we've seen in the past. So, okay, rookie of the year, Nate. Uh Lonzo Ball, the rookie of the year. <laughs> Damn, I mean, man. I, he's obviously a polarizing player, mm -hmm. none to anything he's ever done. But, I mean, he, he was the Summer League MVP. He, he hasn't ever – he's a great distributor of the basketball. He's looked good in the preseason as well. I, he's going to get a ton of playing time yep. on yep. Lakers team. I, I think it's his award to lose. Nate, I'm with you on that one as well. I promise you we did not look at each other's answers <laughs> with this thing. I also picked Lonzo Ball. I think that he's kind of the obvious pick in this because he's such a star. He's going to be on so many TVs. He's going to be the buzz. Everyone's going to be talking about him. Look at what they've already done, and he hasn't even played a regular season game yep. yet. We're talking about that. He's not going to lead uh, rookies in scoring, but what he's going to do is he's going to fill up that stat sheet, and I feel like he's a triple-double weight in happen. Absolutely. All right, so what, what do you think, Jared? I think this is a, a really, really good rookie class. I, think I do, too. Be a it's lot it's of stacked. Exciting players. It's stacked. I think that for the very reason that you said, you know, it's this spotlight that's going to be on Lonzo, or, uh, on Lonzo Ball, mm -hmm. I think that every time he plays like a rookie, mm -hmm. every time he has seven or eight turnovers in a game, that's going to be amplified because of how much spotlight there is on him. I think Dennis Smith Jr., is going mm. to start for the Mavericks. It's a popular I think he's pick. He's going to play a lot of minutes. I think he's going to lead rookies in scoring. I think he's going to lead rookies or be one of the leading assist uh, guys amongst rookies. 
And so I think that he'll win the rookie of the year. Jared's always got to kill our buzz. Yeah, he here. does, man. <laughs> We're having a good time, yeah. and then he comes through with that. LeBron James lawns a ball, and he gives us Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> also, isn't this yeah. a Blazers podcast? Are we really <laughs> picking a Laker? Okay, we, 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 we got to hustle through this well, then stuff. Why didn't you pick Caleb Swan again for rookie? <laughs> yeah, oh, well, man. I didn't say it's a Blazers Homer podcast. Come on. <laughs> okay, so how about our – let's answer these ones together. Most improved player and sixth man of the year. Jared, we're going to start with you on this one. All right, so sixth man of the year, I went with Lou Williams. I think he's going to score a lot off the bench. For the Clippers, uh, there's, that, that's an interesting race. There's a lot of guys who could get it, and so I just kind of threw a dart at the dartboard and, and came up with him. Um, I went most improved player. I went with D'Angelo Russell. Mm. He's going to play. He's going to start for the Nets at point. He's going to play a lot. He played really well in the second half of last season for the Lakers. I think he's going to average 20-plus points, probably six or seven assists, for the Nets this year, I think the Nets are going to be a little bit better than people expect, and so I kind of think that he'll. I think it's going to be a close race, but I think he's going to edge out Yusuf Nurkic for a more, most improved player. Oh man, he knew exactly where I was going <laughs> with that. So most improved player, I am going to go with the Homer pick and pick Yusuf Nurkic. That's a good are you, pick. You got to be kidding me. To no. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. I know we answer separately. We, we submitted our answers together like this is – all right, continue. Yeah. My bad. I didn't mean to mess up Anyways, your flow. Yusuf Nurkic, because people are going to look at stats when it comes to most improved. And if right. you look at his stats of Denver and Portland last year, he only averaged about 10 points and 7 rebounds a game. If he comes into this year and can average 17 and 10, 17 and 11 with the Blazers and is the difference maker he was for them last year, I think he'll be right there in the running, and I think he has a great shot of winning it. I, I totally agree, and I yeah. wrote this down and sent this to him earlier. <laughs> Jared had my answers. Just, yeah, but I agree. Yusuf Nurkic, uh, I, I think that uh, national voters will catch Nurkic fever, and everyone's going to be excited about him who, who, and what he does. Who's your sixth man? Uh, I went with Iguodala. I ah. felt like it's about time. It's, it's freaking good, time. Like, yeah. He is due. Like This yeah, dude needs, needs to get his love. I mean, yeah. And then now that he's coming back to the Warriors and, and all of the offseason stuff, that was a big deal to them. Yeah. And I think that he'll finally get the love that, that he deserves. This is, this is uh, Iguodala's time. Okay, we'll <laughs> differ on that. I'm going to go with Tristan Thompson, new nice. sixth man okay. the like Cavaliers okay. to win That's it really this good. year. And don't also, Jamal Crawford's on Minnesota, who I think is going to make a jump, so don't ever count Jamal Crawford Didn't they out name the award after him this past Pretty year? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we're going to go ahead and wrap this thing